okay so let's go ahead and continue our work so now let's complete our title menu in here what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and create a UI image let's name this as PG okay let's add a image to this so it will be this one move it at the top make it with 750 height 450 okay then let's work on the buttons so select the first one and in here we're gonna drag and drop this sprite let's do it in the other two drag and drop the sprite then open this up select the text change its color to white and select the font you can make it normal and that's it okay so as you can see this is our buttons make sure they are in the middle center that's it okay if you want you can increase the size of these buttons okay just increase the height to for example 70 if you want okay but I'm gonna leave this as 60 now after this let's open up this create room menu and we're gonna duplicate the background there and drag and drop it in here move this up so that we can see the buttons this will be the background let's select the sub PG actually select it make sure it is in the middle center move this right there open this up click on room name and on the room name we're gonna add this one change its uh, height to let me check okay change its height to 100 and width will be 600 then select the placeholder okay move it down below actually leave it there just make this uh, to this option the second one and change its color to white and select the font that's it select the text move it to bottom right like that change its color to white and select the font that's all you have to do for this then let's select the button drag and drop this in there and we need to move this button a little bit down below change its width to 600 by 100 okay select select its text change the font change the color and let's make the font size 40 then select this whole thing and move it right there actually let's leave this right here and select the room name in that and move it right like this okay now once you do this now let's check the room menu let's start from the room name okay we actually first of all need to change okay let's change the room uh, menu I mean the room name so for the room name what we're gonna do is as you know that this is text so we're gonna create a new UI image right here let's name this as room name background move it up and drag and drop the room name in there then select room name BG 
and add that in there okay move the room name out select the room bg and move this right here at the top first of all okay and let's change the width to 900 by 80 so 900 by 80 okay just like the room name and make sure it is on the top and then drag and drop the room name in there move the room name right here let's actually do it from here okay and select the font make it normal that's it okay so here is the room name now after the room name let's set this up so in here I'm gonna drag and drop this simple as that then select the start button and as you know for the button we're gonna use this for the next one as well open it up change their text to white select the font and then select both of the buttons change their height to let's just say 80 select the start button move it a little bit right there select the leave uh, select the leave button and move it down below okay so it looks good like this now as you know that in this list we show the room names okay so if we click on game prefab this is playlist this is room list okay so we need to change this as well so if we select this then go inside for an ui as you can see this is a button so for this we're gonna drag and drop that select the room name change its color to white and select the font size that's it that is all we have to do for this okay and also let's do it for the player list as well actually uh, we can just change actually let's leave this as it is for now okay we're gonna change that later so now this page is already done as you can see our room name uh, room menu is done now let's open up the error menu so here is the error menu on the error menu we just need to change the um, button so I'm gonna open this select the button and drag and drop that change its color font size I mean font select the whole button change it to 80 that is all we have to do for this okay it looks good we just have to move this a little bit up right there that's it okay so after the error menu we have the find room menu now for the title let's add a UI image title BG make sure it is uh, right there try and drop this in there select title it is 300 by 50 so 300 by 50 now drag and drop the title in there and move uh, move this whole title BG up there okay select the title move it up from this option and select the font now we can increase the width to 350 or 400 by 60 okay select the text again move it down and make this normal that is all now let's select the room list 
and drag and drop the sprite in there for it select the back button drag and drop that select the text change its color to white change the font select the whole button change its height to 80 and that is all for this okay you can design this however you want but if you want to follow the same design as mine so you can just follow these steps okay so now if you start the game and let's test it out how our menu looks now okay so as you can see this is our loading screen okay click next create room create a room okay here it is player name team one okay it looks a little bit messed up let me type my whole name click next create room room 111 okay so room 111 i'll share team 2 okay we need to now change this Ali share and team 2 thing so click on game prefabs playlist item here it is let's uh, select this change its color to white select that change its color to white that is it and then let's test it out again all right click next create a room okay so here it is it doesn't look good let's move the team inside like this or maybe a little bit right here test it out again okay so here it is all right okay so this is how it looks now what we're gonna do is we're gonna select this let's change it to 700 okay it doesn't work like that so let me change the spacing not the spacing we actually need to change this top to let's just say 50 change the left to uh, let's just say 70 and change the right to 30 if you want okay okay so 70 30 50 let me actually copy this component stop the game select the player list content and click on paste component values okay that is all you have to do for fixing that now if we test the game again so here is the loading screen click next create a room okay so now as you can see it looks good we can also start the game as you can see here it is okay so now with our main uh, menu ui done now the next thing which we will be doing is to add the mobile inputs okay so in the next video we will be adding the mobile inputs and also we'll be adding that holographic scope as well okay so for that, see you guys in the next one.